Well, hello. Uh, there's been some interesting things to cross my mind recently in the credit card game. Lots of weird things showing up, lots of things changing in the game. You guys know the Amex Gold. Oh man, that card's gonna be doing something weird, right? It's going up to 325 annual fee possibly. I kinda wanna think about that. What am I gonna do? What's next for that card? I hate being the guy that's just like, yo, I'm gonna cancel it. And then makes a video like two days later, like, yo, I'm gonna keep it. Like, honestly, I I'm definitely like that guy and I'm trying not to be. But I just have to tell you, okay? Like, here's the thing about the MX Gold. So I don't know if this video is gonna be about this, but MX Gold, right? It's uh, it's it's a big card, right? Everyone talks about it. Everyone wants to know about it, right? Like everyone thinks that this card is some sort of magical key that you need in your giant puzzle of credit cards, right? Like it feels like this game. It feels like the, the the game is not really solvable unless you have the MX Gold, and I don't really understand why. Okay, because honestly, most of us aren't really going to be making much use of this card, right? Like. If you're the kind of guy that's out spending tons of money, like you're balling, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you're hitting the freaking step back and hitting the swish, you know what I'm saying? Slamming that Forex back right on the table, taking dates out on freaking Friday through Sunday. I don't know, man. The Sunday is the Lord's day, but maybe you're dining, okay? You're getting lots of food. You're getting lots of everything. Grubhub, Shake Shack, you know what I'm talking about. Then maybe you're the kind of guy that's perfect for this card, right? But honestly, I just don't feel like most people are like that, right? Like most people don't really have access to a Shake Shack, a Milk Bar, a freaking a Grubhub. You know what I'm saying? Like honestly, most people are, you know, maybe stopping by your local McDonald's to pick up a quick McDouble or two on the way to work or something like that. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I really don't. Or maybe you just like pizza. I like to get a freaking dollar fifty slices every once in a while here in New York City. Super delicious. But let me tell you, that, that really... That don't matter if I have a gold card paying for that, dude. That's not a credit, right? And honestly, Forex back on $1, what is that, like four cents of value? I don't, doing some quick maths here, fellas. But basically what I'm trying to illustrate is only ballers are really able to get value from this card. And I just feel like a lot of us are not ballers. Unless you've got like four kids or something. Yo, that's pretty sick, okay? It, it, and that leads me into the groceries part, right? So if we're going to talk groceries, maybe you're not like, uh, you know, going on dates, you know, Monday through Friday. <laughs> Stop talking, Jake. Maybe you like, uh, maybe you're a big family guy, right? Like you got a big old SUV, eight seater, maybe like a freaking Volkswagen Atlas or something. And, and uh, let me tell you, you got like a four year old, a six year old, an eight year old, a, you know what I'm saying? Like, and they got friends. I mean, they leave their dirty shoes everywhere and they're hungry, bro. There's freaking there's dirt everywhere. I don't know. I'm, I, I had a sister. I had one sibling. I feel like it wasn't that expensive, but it probably is nowadays. So, I mean, if you're really going to be balling with kids, you probably want to have the MX Gold because like that Forex back is definitely going to make a dent if you're spending, I don't know, what is it, like two grand a month on groceries? And listen, I know you can't really get Forex back at Costco and stuff like that, which is honestly a shame because the MX Gold would, <laughs> it would get a ton of value there, wouldn't it? But yeah, that's a problem. You can only use Visa, blah, blah, blah. Who cares, right? It doesn't even matter. So I'm not doing that, right? I'm not doing that. You're not doing that. I'm not canceling, I promise you, okay? I just want to talk about it with you. I want to get my feelings out, right? Because maybe you're feeling the same way. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, man, this freaking card kind of sucks, right? Like, I don't want to use my $7 dunks credit, okay? Like, I'm, I am I get that, bro. I got the card back when I lived in Chicago, right? And there was Dunkin' Donuts around, and that was super cool. But I'm a Seattle guy at heart, right? I'm a Pacific Northwesterner, dude. I am a Washingtonian, okay? We drink Starbucks coffee, I'm not going to lie. Well, sometimes I try to... It's kind of overrated. But that's the problem, okay? There's no dunks in the freaking Pacific Northwest. So that kind of is really weird to me, because Amex basically just you know, kind of eliminated like one fourth, shall I say one fourth, one fourth the United States of America. And that's just, uh, it's kind of a freaking slap in the face. Okay. And I know it's only $7 a month, right? Um, cause they are going to be adding the $50 semi annual resi credit, right? So I guess you could find other ways to get that, you know, your value back. I, I, you got to make up 75 more dollars now because the annual fee increased 75 bucks. I know there's more ways to make value. You could actually get above a, you know, a $10 effective annual fee. But let me tell you, this card, it just makes me so upset because Amex is making record profits doing this strategy. And it's just like, 
such a bullshit like consumeristic way of thinking like they're basically just giving you a coupon uh, basically like a coupon book that you need to continuously clip and they understand their brand and they understand their users and i mean good for them they're probably raking in the freaking cash using this strategy but it just sucks for the end user because basically you have to constantly be thinking about what you're going to be doing for the month how you're going to use your amex credits you know what the heck do i got to hit to you know get certain money back and it's just like I bet you would probably just come out ahead with the freaking basic different credit card that, you know, isn't a flashy gold card. You got to slam down on your on the table to impress your date who probably actually doesn't even care. Unfortunately, right? People don't care, dude. I mean, it looks kind of sick. I get it. It's a gold card, right? I like gold. We all do. Everyone thinks about it, right? I'm sure. But sometimes you just got to wonder if it's all worth the work. I think it could be, right? Like especially if I'm not going to, I'm not trying to be a baller, but like, yo, I'm in New York city, bro. I got lots of this stuff around me. I got the grub hub. I got the five guys, you know, if shake shack goes away, there's a, there's a five guys right down the street, right? You might not have that. And it's okay to not have that, right? You can choose where you want to be. And I guess that kind of begs the question like, yo, am I actually a customer that's targeted by American express? Cause like, I don't know about you. I'm a, I'm a credit card guy, right? Like I like to get credit cards. I like to sign up bonuses, bro. I've been working some of these freaking transfer partners the last couple of months i've been traveling that's why i haven't recorded a lot guys i also got this weird dot i just started to see it's like something in my eye but yeah anyway i've been busy with transfer partners and stuff like that so yeah using my points right but most people are not doing that okay they're not going out there they're not doing what we're doing right they're just going in and getting an amex card because they know the brand or maybe they they see sex with that and they actually are like yo i actually spend like a thousand dollars a month there that would be super sick Probably not most people are doing that, but that's the thing is like American Express is targeting a certain demographic of people. And I'm not going to lie. I'm probably not that demographic, maybe a little bit on the platinum card more than the gold card. Now, I don't know. I don't really don't think so, to be honest. But here's the thing. Yes, we can get all frustrated, right? We can go ahead and complain. We can freak out on Amex, dude. Let's just freak the frick out on Amex and just tell them how bad they are, right? They should be ashamed of themselves for doing the coupon book strategy and destroying our perfect American Express gold card. I know. So unfortunate, right? It sucks. Forex back on groceries and dining is something that you can't easily get. But unfortunately, you got to realize, man, you might have been able to get that 90,000 point offer before maybe it's going to change. Maybe it's going to go away. Who knows? Maybe you got the, the 90K offer, like the, the 90K four thousand dollar in three months offer that i that i got last year with the two hundred dollar credit that was super good right we went ahead and got the card for those reasons right you got to look at it from that perspective most of the time you're going to be getting a card kind of for the sign up bonus if you're in this game right you're not going out i mean you should be i mean you're not like going out and destroying your credit for certain sign up bonuses to like you know boom 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 like that you know what i'm saying you're kind of getting a balance, right? You kind of like this card because it's like, oh, I could work my life a little bit with it. I could, you know, work the the be the benefits and, fe and features of this card, right? Maybe it gives me lounge access. I don't have that yet, but honestly, this card right here has a bunch of overlap, blah, 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 but it still has a good sign up bonus, right? So you go ahead and get it. And honestly, yeah, that's kind of what I think about the MX Gold. Like, I don't really need that additional 1X back on freaking, what is it, uh, dining, right? Especially because I love using my CSR and I already get 3X back on dining there. So I'm not really getting the gold card for the 4X back dining, if you think about it like that. I'm kind of getting it uh, because I like to talk about it on YouTube. But honestly, if you're not going to talk about it on YouTube, you could get it for the 90,000 membership awards when sign up bonus, right? That's the whole point. The whole point is to get it for the sign up bonus. So I, I, I kind of encourage you to be like, you know, if you want to work some credits for a year, you want to try it out, you know, you know, you can check out the sign up bonus, see what's going on there. If it's good, go for it. Use a freaking incognito tab and try to get a good sign up bonus offer because it changes guys. You can't just go ahead and click on their, on their website and get it directly from there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Amex targets you with different sign up bonuses. It's kind of a weird way they do it, but I got to tell you deep down inside, I just feel like this card is just not meant for me. It's not meant for you maybe, but I don't know where I'm where, where was I going to go with this? So I guess I just wanted to rant a little bit about that. Um, is this a rant? I don't even know, dude. I'm chilling. Okay. Having a good time right now. You know what I mean? Traveling is awesome. I've been working my strategies. You guys know there's lots of strategies out there to work and it's just so, so much fun, like learning and doing, you know what I mean? I love doing and I love learning and I love subscribing.
to new YouTube channels. So if you're interested, you should make a channel and talk about it. It's free. But if you don't want to do that, I, I understand. People, you know, don't want to do that sometimes. So if you do want to subscribe, my name is Jake Mercury. You could subscribe to me. I talk about credit cards and some other stuff that I think about. I'm a thinker out louder. I, I honestly, I'm probably America's best yapper at this point. So I think I'm going to uh, chip and dip at this point. I got to get back to work here. So have a good day, fellas. See ya.